Hi, I'm Kim Everhart. I'm president of the PRSA Detroit chapter. As we've put a pause on live programming for the foreseeable future, I wanted to reach out to you via video just to let you know I'm thinking about all of our PRSA Detroit members right now and hope you and your families are staying healthy and safe. When we started 2020, I know none of us certainly predicted a global pandemic, uh, but I want you to know that PRSA is adapting and is here to help through this time. You might be asking what are some of the things we're doing to specifically support members right now, so I want to share some updates with you. First and foremost, we in mid-March launched the COVID-19 Resource Center on our PRSA Detroit website. That is a repository of information curated by PRSA Detroit members for PRSA Detroit members, specifically focused on strategies and recommendations on how to help you and your organization navigate this current environment. Secondarily, we are working to move our programming to a more virtual environment. As many of you know, we are an organization that has always thrived on our live events, and that's how so many of you have connected with the chapter. So we are uh, moving to a, a virtual environment and trying to emulate the same experience from our live events in that setting. So in particular, I want to mention on May 13th, we have a uh, virtual chat with the new managing editor of the Detroit News, Kevin Hardy. It's May 13th at 1230, and we certainly hope you can join us for that. Also, in the next 30 days, we're gonna be announcing programming that's specifically focused on helping our PRSA Detroit members who might be in a time of professional transition. We know that this current environment has been really challenging uh, for a lot of us in the communications industry, and people might be looking for what their next professional opportunity looks like or their next chapter of their career. And this set of programming is going to revolve around mentorship and resources and look for announcements uh, on that in the, in the days to come. We're also continuing our commitment to the next generation of PR professionals and communicators. That's something that's always been a cornerstone of PRSA Detroit. And uh, we just recently selected our two winners for our Donald P. DeRocher scholarship. And I'm happy to say that we had more applicants than in recent history. It was a really a, a great thing and, and great to see students get engaged. So that work is continuing. Also, for those who are interested in continuing to pursue their accreditation in PR and are maybe thinking about doing that this year, that process will continue. It might look different, it might feel a little different than in years past, but if you are interested in pursuing your APR, we are still moving forward with that. And just last month, we held an APR 101 webinar that specifically offered recommendations and, and kind of an overview on what that process looks like for those of uh, us who are interested in pursuing that. It's worth noting that 2020 is PRSA Detroit's 75th anniversary. And in 75 years as a chapter, we have weathered a lot of storms and we have always emerged brighter and stronger on the other side. And I'm confident that this year will be no different. Uh, certainly a different time than any of us have ever, ever experienced in our lifetimes, but it's in times of economic uncertainty and a kind of strange climate, it's more important than ever to lean into your professional network. And that means staying connected to PRSA. So we are committed to helping all of our members through this current time. So I look forward to seeing you all at some point when we can be together again in person. Uh, hopefully I'll see some of you virtually on May 13th. And in the meantime, I just encourage you to stay healthy, be well. If you have specific thoughts or ideas about programs or resources that you need support in in your professional development right now, reach out to myself personally, Nancy Skidmore, or connect with us on our social channels. Thanks so much and stay safe.